Hope you can see my SAP screen now. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Okay. In fact, actually we have done it, but just I will run it to see that what are the things we have. Okay. But I will run one more time. Okay. Don't worry about that. Okay. Something, somebody changed the layouts looks like. I'm going to change the default settings. That's what has happened. It's okay. okay. This is my layout. There we can see that how many times we have tested. Okay. So if you look at the various task, okay. When you create, so it should always, as I said, two warehouse tasks. One is a P status. B status means it is a, a GR staging to their final. But first, it should confirm the warehouse task, right? Internal one. What is the product? What is the source and destination? This is also, I will change it, guys. Okay. My layout is there. I think this is the default one. Let's use it. Default one. So you can see what is the source is the uh, uh, 9010 is the staging area, GR zone, and the LOID is the that is the intermediate point. You know that LOID is the destination point. That's what we de defined last time. So ID point for the area. And then uh, it's the same thing. So HU is the remain same one, source and destination, because we are not uh, any doing anything, packing or anything, right? So, so source, source bin, source HU, and same thing, destination bin, destination um, HU, and destination storage type, okay, LOAD and all. Okay, so unless if I move this HU from staging area to ID point, you cannot perform this task. Let's confirm this warehouse task now. Confirm in a warehouse task. Okay, now is a confirmed. As soon as a confirmed, have you observed now? As soon as a confirmed, the storage type is changed now. Okay, so earlier it was okay nine zero ten, okay nine zero ten, but as soon as a confirmed. That and also the status, the B status. Okay, maybe it's not clear. The status B become a open, and also this become a LOAD. Okay, so the task is created from a, a intermediate point to the final location. Which location is going? The product we set up. Okay, the product we set up. Okay, the product we set up is where we this product should go. If you remember this product, the process determination indicates LO, and also we suggested it should go to the wide aisle pick face and the bin type is yes. So that's what we said. Okay. So obviously, whatever you, you mentioned in the in the product master, okay, exactly. So going to the wide aisle pick face because based on the search criteria. Okay, what base is going to find it? This is based on such criteria. It's going to wide pick face destination location. Okay. This is a simple one. Okay. Just you can confirm in this is the LOAC. You are good on understanding these concepts, you know. So you, you can do anything. 
and one more thing this is the purely lohc okay whatever you discuss now is a purely lohc that means the process type is also lohc and then you are performing that okay you are going to use this uh, uh, lohc within the process uh, within the pohc okay so how we are going to do we can do after that but the configuration is very simple and uh, two minutes i'll go and review it because because of interruption you know last time i don't want to straight away jump into next topic just two minutes i'll i will explain to you what we discussed last time as i said anything if you any new process new uh, um WPT you are doing or inbound process, anything using LOSN, first you need to understand that from the master data we need, what kind of master data we need. Okay, LOSC means I should have at least one warehouse process type. So that's the one basic requirement. So for the POS, the system should determine what kind of process type. Sorry. Okay, so define the process type. That's what we discussed. So 2710 and I created as a LOSC into this one, remember. So what I did is, because simple inbound, we are using LOS, a simple inbound process, okay? 9010, that's what we said. If it's a complex one, then we couldn't maintain storage process type, all these things, okay? But also we said, because this is HU one, LOS works for even HU, because it's a packed HU, so you make sure that you need to flag this one. Otherwise, if you select this one, it should be HU warehouse task. Okay, handling warehouse task. If you don't select, system thinks that is a product warehouse task. Okay, product warehouse task. Okay, use a HU all the time. Okay, because majority HU based only. This is the one, one warehouse process setup. Then again, after that, as I said, because I wanted that the product should be determined. Okay, my product should be determined based on the my okay some process depth determination indicator. So LO you put, and we mentioned, as I said, right? We maintain at the product master. And finally, the configuration we maintain, how your WPT is going to trigger, okay? What basis is going to trigger. So we said like LOSC. So I use same thing, document INB, IDLB only. Only the difference at the moment is, see, remain the same, even complex also until this one. It reads that the moment, if if a product going any product assigned to the Z one, assuming that I have hundreds of thousands of products, if you want under don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So complex outbound inbound process, then thousand products if you assign Z one, then it takes you complex inbound process. If in case the products remaining products is going to LO if you select, then it goes to the LOS. Okay, if you if you don't assign either of these process type or determination indicator, or IDLV system by default, it understands 1011, simple inbound process, okay? So this is the config we maintain. So my product, whichever product I assign the LO process debit indication, then that product should pick automatically LOSC. This is the one step we have done, okay? As I said, like we have already master data, we have all in a warehouse, we have a complete master data. So nothing is much I need to create. So I have a staging area, I have a, all the racks, I have a mesna and everything. So what I was, what it was not there earlier, full ID point. So we created ID point as a storage type and a storage bin. Okay. So that's what we added extra. So only thing we have done it. Okay. So this is the, what this, so go to the here, then after that, going to the main locations. That's what we have done, okay? So master data we maintained as a storage type and storage uh, um, bin. That's what we maintained. So LO8, I believe I remember LO8. Okay, remember, this is what we have done. It is a LO8, okay? And also the HU requirement is general storage type and then nothing much, okay? And also, when you want to move the product for the LOSC, 